hello everybody welcome to the stream anybody home please say hi to us thank you so much for stopping by much appreciate it thank you so let's see if we have already few people in the house yeah we had uh, martin martin actually was the was there early on so thank you i think that was a long time ago uh marvis cfc hello uh yeah there are some comments that i'm not gonna read <laughs> uh Malik, hi. Nice to see you. Jonathan Maro, hey. I can't get it. What, uh, what, what? We're boiling at Chelsea? I'm losing it already. All right. Kuala King, Kuala Lumpur. Hello, long time. You just disappear. Thank you. Nice to see you. Lawrence, Lawrence, Lawrence. Hi, guys. Good evening to you. <laughs> good afternoon. Good morning. Good whatever time it is, depending on your location. So, thank you, people. And uh, please don't forget to like. Because the more you like, the more people will join us. I'll be here just to share with you some some news live from from the us and uh, yeah we're gonna share the news together so thank you so much everybody i see some people start joining us don't forget to like subscribe share all the good stuff much appreciated tell us where are you from so we can give you a shout before we start kind of settling the show and uh, the line is gonna be open for everybody to call very soon everybody can just click and call no money asked no nothing free of charge all right so much much appreciate it okay my people so while we waiting for more people to join us we have to go here and kind of uh, see what is happening uh, in the world of Chelsea Football Club. Let uh, let double check here. This is uh, horizontal. That is Chelsea, Chelsea in the USA, and uh, some very good training sessions being going on in the camp can see the Mason Mount, Kai Havert, the Silky German, and uh, Risi, Mr. James. So everything is working as a charm, people. Everything is working like a charm in the US. So people, you have to let us know if you can hear us and you can see us before we continue. So Chelsea in the US, look at Timo Werner. Look, 150 and <laughs> 18 ampad. Nobody can lift it. Because for be careful, you can have a hernia <laughs> trying trying the impossible. Okay, so so as you can tell there. What is trending in the Chelsea community? Matisse Delete. Delete, literally, uh, the Bayern Munich board, you know, I don't know, the chairman or whoever, or director of football, Hassan, is right now in Turin to try to negotiate this deal to get uh, Delete. When we started this, nobody was there. Only when we 
we trying to make a deal and then all of a sudden everybody want to buy players everybody got money so that is the a new chelsea thing that we have right now so yeah we're gonna talk about it So some news, some sources are talking already about an agreement uh, was not reached. Okay, not reached yet, but they can still reach an agreement. Munich and uh, Juventus for Chelsea target Matisse Delit. In the meeting today, they are still quite far apart in their valuation. Talks will continue. So I don't think Chelsea should just go there and give the money and, and wait until uh, if Bayern Munich can't buy him because it's going to be the same exact case as Rafinha. So that's why Chelsea are just watching from distance because we're going to look ridiculous again, okay? Because some people are making theories, oh, you should just go there and buy the players. It doesn't happen that way. That That is not like... FIFA or you know, something else, you know. We went with the money, we gave to lead, lead accepted, and the players didn't accept. Made us look like mugs. This is the same exact case between the lead and, uh, and Bayern Munich. So you go there, you offer money, he's going to say, no, I don't need your money. I'm going to Bayern Munich. I'm waiting until they, they, they make a deal with Juventus. So... So we have, uh, I don't blame Chelsea for this one. If somebody don't want to come to Chelsea, just leave him alone. Let's see how the deal is going to, it's going to be. Actually, so let me. Uh, greeting from Nigeria. Sierra Leone. All right, we are all over the world. So complicated, huh? Very, very complicated situation for Chelsea Football Club. Not that easy as many people want to make it look so online. Um, depend on many, many, many many people to decide before a transfer actually happens let me see All right, people, so feel free to participate to the debate because we need everybody's participation here. You give me some energy, we can continue. But if I don't have any energy from you guys, and then I'm going to have to leave because I am here for you. So in the meantime, we're going to go back and continue reading. So... No deal yet between Bayern Munich and Juventus for Matisse Delit. So Chelsea probably need to stay away from this one. And this uh, post here from Romano was like an hour ago. He said Bayern director Hassan leaving Turin right now. Uh, we will see according to him. I can't say anything about Matisse Delit deal. Op optimist. Optimism, we are always optimistic. Okay, so Mr. Hassan will return to Germany this afternoon after trying to negotiate the deal for Matisse Delit. The Delit the want to join them, but Chelsea can still get him if uh, the, the German giant are not ready to pay the money so we're gonna be second choice again okay so true according to christian fork juventus want 
to invest the transfer fee of Matisse Delete, 22 years old, in Kalidu Kulibali, 31. Okay. The club want to save uh, the amount of salary of Delete with 10 million net from the payroll. Okay. So basically, they're going to save a lot of money by getting rid of uh, of Matisse Lelit and get Koulibaly. They're going to pay Koulibaly probably five to six million and they save about four million. So that is the strategy here they are trying to do. Delete 10 million. I don't even know if Bayern are going to afford to pay him that kind of money. But we all know that uh, many players are doing clubs favors by just cutting their salaries. That Barcelona being there. Uh, Barcelona broke Barcelona. Oh, let me see if I have some people in the chat. Herbert, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. It's like clear because I'm using a new uh, a new headset. Like clear, oh, be like uh, before. I, I mean, are you referring to the headset or to the microphone? Or oh, well, anything, yeah. Like microphone. Yeah, yeah, everything. I was going to say that because your voice is uh, like, it has changed. As in like, it's much clearer now. It's not clear? Uh, no, it's much clearer. Oh, it's, it's much like, clear, from... yeah. So I'm using this thing yeah, yeah. here that I just received. Um, yeah. yeah. Because the other one broke and I don't want to spend freaking amount of money on that anyway. So I have this one. Probably it's going to work uh, nicely. So if you can hear me clearly, that means cool. Yeah, 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 yeah it's good. Yeah, it's good. All right, brother. So what do you have to, to tell me? Harry Maguire is the, the new captain. Uh, <laughs> what do you think about I mean, the decision from captain. Eric? You were hoping for a new captain. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think that's the first warning sign uh, of this manager because, as you know, like I wasn't on the camp of Team, uh, team Ten Hag, mm -hmm. neither was I on the camp of Team Poch. I mean, like around, was it like three or four months back where the fan base was separated between the two managers because those were the two options we had. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, I wasn't picking any one of them because I know like whoever comes in, they are going to fail. Even if Pep or Klopp or Tuchel comes in, they are going to fail because it's not about their ability, it's about our board. I don't think you can be successful under this board. I've like designed that fact. I don't think you can win any. We can win some domestic cups here and there if you know the draw is lucky for us. But you know the big competitions like uh, Champions Leagues and Premier League. I don't think we can win that. That's just my stance. So, anyways, about uh, Ten Hag, I was like, look, I had some hope, and I was watching his training session today, and he got really, really, really angry today. I mean, he was. I mean, he was shouting so much because. I mean, I don't know, like, players were not following instructions or they were, like, you know, doing the wrong pass. Like, he was screaming, literally. <laughs> I mean, and you can tell he's, like, a coach. He's not really yeah. a manager. He's a yeah, he's a coach. coach. He's a proper he goes, coach. Yeah, he, he's a proper coach. He knows, I mean, he knows the game. Uh, he knows what, how to play the game, how to, you know, coach uh, the players. But again, that's just not enough because at United, you don't have that kind of players. You don't have a, you know, like a Man City team where you can just put them into a system mm -hmm. and uh, I mean look this interview we gave he said that you know Maguire is going to be my captain which is okay I mean I don't agree with it but then he said that he has achieved a lot of success I mean this is a guy which has has like four relegations on his CV and his biggest achievement was to qualify for from Hull City and that too mm -hmm. in the playoff like they didn't even won the championship they qualified into the playoff so to him saying that you know I can understand why Ronaldo doesn't want, want to come back and play for uh, United. I mean, I mean, Ronaldo has more Champions Leagues than Maguire's relegation. So why would he want to come back and play under Maguire? Yeah. So, I mean, there are early signs, and then he said another thing, which you know completely reminded me of Oli. Mm -hmm. I mean, Oli used to say this: like, if there are players available, we would definitely like to strengthen. I mean, yeah. you compare that to what uh, Conte says. Conte was literally blackmailing Tottenham. Yeah, yeah, in the month of February, if you remember, like he was saying, I mean, my future is in, I mean, I can't commit to the future like this is. Indirectly, he was saying, if I don't get the signings, I won't stay here. I'm going to have to go. I've signed a two year contract as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's my problem with Ten Hag is that I think he's like, you know, he's another yes man. I mean, you think? 
I mean, I mean, I, I think we have to wait for the yes man thing to for at least another few months. But I can see like he's like you know over awed by the club because going from Ajax to United, it's a big jump for any manager. Mm-hmm. But I can see like he's you know if he, I mean, he's earned that spot not to you know take anything away. But I just feel like you know. He's too positive right now because we are not in that kind of situation. Because if he thinks he can play like you know Ajax football or total football with the players we have with Fred and McTominay, it's not going to work. And uh, De Jong returned to training today. I don't know if you saw his pictures, and he looked very happy. Yeah. He was really, really like he was smiling, yeah. and he was you know. So That's... and he anyway he doesn't want to come. We have already established that we are just pushing it. I mean, in an ideal transfer window, I mean we have mm-hmm. no chance of getting De Jong. The only we are. Get, Only we are getting Diom is because of Ten Hag. Mm-hmm. So, and Ten Hag has told the board to go and get pursue Diom, even though he doesn't want to come. So again, this could fall badly on him as well because if we can't get Diom, then we have to go for Ruben Neves or uh, Philippines. Yeah. And what I mean, maybe he doesn't want them. If he doesn't want them, he has to, you know, yeah, play with them. Or again, he has to. There will be another problem. So again, like yeah. I am. I mean, I'm not excited by the new season. Look, we are going to confirm Eriksen by this week, and uh, mm. again, if he goes to the preseason and all that, I'm not excited by it. I mean, I think I commented on yesterday's video as well. Like, you know, <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah, you sign Sterling and all that. Now you will have lots of pictures and his interviews, and he will talk about how, like, you know, like how Chelsea were good in the Champions League final, and he couldn't, you know, he'll praise Tuchel, and mm. lots of fans will be gassed and all that. But, Yeah. So, uh Joshua, four or five new signings now. Mhm. Joshua, put some clothes on, bro. What what are you doing? You showing your legs and you were like shirtless. Yeah, now you put some shirt. I'm going to put you through now. You don't have to show people your your muscles and your legs, bro. What's going on? <laughs> Hang on. Um yeah, you talking to somebody say... on the phone. Can you put him on hold or something? Because we can hear him. Yeah, what do you have to say? I just want to say that uh-huh. I Ronaldo is staying at Man United. Okay, Ronaldo is going to stay at Manchester United. I can hear your friends calling you there. Finish talking to him and I will put you through now because we can hear everything he is saying. All right. So, um Yeah, people, you can join us here if you want. Um Somebody said that another puppet another another puppet for the glazers according to many people in the chat here another ch- uh, this guy he said that uh, another challenge Chelsea is facing in the transfer market is that too much target without focus well too much target probably is coming from fans not from Chelsea I don't think they are all over the place. You can't uh, prevent people from leaking you with uh, with players. So it doesn't mean necessarily that those links are from Chelsea. It's just people taking it too seriously because somebody said something. That's the problem. So it could be your own problem and not Chelsea's problem. Chelsea are focused. They were focused on uh Rafinha. We, f- we gave the money it didn't work out and then we moved to delete the delete the don't want to come to us what do you want Chelsea to do we focus like report been saying that Chelsea uh, Thomas Tuchel Tuko wanted Raheem Sterling from day one he been calling and he wanted him so other targets other links Jesus or Richarlison or Dembele or Kunde or other targets are just people making up stories unfortunately we have to buy those stories So nobody told you that Chelsea are not focused. I'm not sure about that. Uh is that your targets don't want to come? Yeah. Target don't want to come to us. I don't know for some reason. And uh, all of a sudden, Bayern Munich get money. They want to go for the lead now that Chelsea Chelsea went for him. They they are there. Barcelona, look at them. They signed Dembele and they signed Rafinha at the same time. What do you want Chelsea to do? The boss flew yeah. his jet, his private jet, meet the Barcelona people, try to make this. It's just not working. What do you want to do? You want to ask to force and like sell the country, give them America in order to get uh, whatever? You know what I mean? It's 
we are not Qatar yeah. where we're gonna offer somebody oh you are asking 120 million for delete okay let's just give all the money delete listen you don't want to come listen you're gonna be the vice president of chelsea you're gonna get the 500k a week or 1 billion a week or so we are not Qatar here okay we have to be smart yeah go on Herbert. Yeah. No, no, I'm just saying, like, you know, Chelsea are walking. It's just that it's a very... We are walking. I'm yeah. also unlucky. Terms. Yeah, because you already, uh, like, you know, hijacked the bid from Arsenal. Mm -hmm. Then you... Then by yeah. uh, Barca hijacked you. I mean, they not jack hijacked, but they already <laughs> were in for it. Hijackers hijacked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, what, what else can you do? Like, Chelsea are working. It's just that the targets don't want to come. That's and, the uh, problem. I mean, even for Delic, you're offering more money than Bayern. Yeah. But, but the guy want doesn't come. want to come. To go to Bayern. At Bayern, yeah. believe me, he's going to have less salary, uh, less transfer fee, less everything, less agent fee. But the guy just want to go to Bayern. What do you want us to go? Just panic? For me, I'm not going to panic. Yeah. I'm, I don't panic like that way, man. I don't panic. Yeah, I mean, you're already in for Ake. I think he will come. Then you have signed Sterling. And mm -hmm. then you need some more players, like you need another winger, I think. Then you need another centre-back, because mm -hmm. I don't think, uh, I mean, you have replaced... I mean, okay, you can replace Fishinson's with Ake, fine. But I still feel without Rudiger's replacement, mm -hmm. I don't know who you will go for, because Kulubali is already... They already said, like, I think they have given him some stakes in Napoli as well. I think 60% stakes in something they have given Kulubali with a new contract. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he's out of question. Then... You just have to wonder like who is left. So because you have to replace Rudiger, I don't think you can go into a season without replacing Rudiger. I think he's a very big. Uh, it is going to be a very big miss. Hmm. And then uh, I mean, okay, fine. Sterling will get you some goals. Uh, I am still I'm very unconvinced by your uh, like uh, wingers. I don't think you have many uh, like you know creative wingers. Most of them want to either you know score goals and then when they get the chances, they don't convert it. Yeah, so, they, are, they are poor in finishing, but I still also yeah. blame the system. Like, for me, it's still 50-50 because they are not allowed to create a lot. And the few chances yeah. they, they have or they create, we don't take them. So for me, I would yeah. judge them and, make you know, get them out of the club only when you allow them to play football. Because I don't, I don't, I don't understand how all of a sudden somebody like uh, mm -hmm. Hakim Ziyech became no nobody you know what i mean like he's not played yeah. where he should be playing and i tell you even rahim sterling if he plays in this system we're gonna criticize him alone and we, we forget to talk about the system i believe that we if we allow I think them there to will be a change of system i think there will be a change of system at chelsea because you are not buying sterling to play him wing back yeah and that's... without a rudiger or yeah, I don't think you're that, going that to That is be, the first you know, question that I will ask Thomas Tuko when I meet him uh, this weekend, when I go there, because I have the <laughs> front seat there. Like, I'll be just in front there. When when they are coming in the future, I will be like, Thomas, listen, bro. Are you going to send? I'm going to change the system? I saw even somebody yesterday in the training asking him about, are you signing Ronaldo and stuff? And he was like, I'm not going to tell you. So I will I will put myself in the position where I have to ask him some questions like, "Hey, bro, we got found out with the three at the back system. Are you changing it or not?" So, yeah, yeah, I I don't know if he doesn't change. And then okay. what the point of mm -hmm. getting Raheem Sterling and play him a wing back? He's not gonna be as productive as he was in his natural position. So, there is a guy that talk sports we're talking this morning. Do you know something about yeah. him? Maxwell Corner. Who? Maxwell Corner. Maxwell uh, Isn't he the one who was at Burnley? Yeah, who just relegated Burnley. He, he missed a yeah, penalty that could have yeah. kept them in the Premier League. But he's a good player. He used to play for Lyon. And somehow, yeah, okay. I, I didn't even get it how he, he managed to get himself to Burnley. He's a he's a good yeah. he's a good player. He can play as a winger. He can play as a wing back. He can play as a full back. He he's can left play left footed also, right? Yeah, left footed. He he got some dribble skills on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. also end product questionable, but mm -hmm. he can be a very good alternative for Chelsea. And he's gonna cost only seventeen million. One seven. Yeah, 
one seven seventeen million because on his release clause it was like if they they go to the championship he he, he can leave uh if somebody shows up with a 17 million the problem now okay. is i don't see many teams going for him like such a good player on paper and if many big teams are not going for you and in that price i, I doubt a little bit in that case but what i see is sometimes people don't really consider players that just got relegated they think they are bad but uh look at Vilnadom when he joined Liverpool from yeah. um he was relegated with Yeah, Newcastle. he was relegated with uh, Newcastle United. And uh Jota didn't get relegated but he was just a, a good player in the Premier League and he switched mm -hmm. to Liverpool and look at him now he's better than Werner. And what happened was Chelsea paid the, the release clause for Werner because Liverpool couldn't afford him. And then they pay almost yeah. half of the price to get Jota. And Jota is a thousand times better than, than, than Timo Werner. So for me, I always keep an open mind about, you know, no shiny name, no brand at all. Yeah. So wh wh what do you think I mean, about it? It could go either way. Like, you know, it could be like uh, Maxwell Corne if you buy him. Yeah, you know, it, it could be like Victor Moses. Like, it would be like Revolution that yeah. you might need. Mm -hmm. Or you could be like Lloyd Kremi, like Lloyd Kremi, <laughs> yeah. who bought him from QPR, right? And he yeah. didn't work so. I know what so, you mean. So it could go either way, but I've seen him. Like I've seen a couple of. Uh, I mean, I, whenever I play FIFA, he always scores against me. So mm -hmm. he's a decent player. I mean, yeah, I agree with you. Like you know, for 17 million, I mean, yeah, it's, it's not mean, a big risk. He can play across the front three. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not a big risk. It could if... be a ZX replacement. Yeah, that's also the problem. Like. It looks like the manager doesn't really rate uh, Hakim Ziyech. So if he goes, and then why not try low key, low risk, and see how it goes? I don't know. But yeah, okay, I have some. Uh, yes, I have some bre uh, breaking news from United side. Uh, okay. So it is saying that uh, United's uh, chief official. So basically, we uh, our CEO that is John Motor. And then a kind of a director, I think that's the director, mm -hmm. Richard Arnold. Mm -hmm. They are at Barcelona right now, uh, going to okay. negotiate the Dion deal. So both of them arrived at Barcelona. Yeah. Okay, so they're going to just to close the deal for uh, De Jong? I mean, I'm not, I, mean, I wouldn't say close. I think they have to do still negotiations. I said, like, you know, the 20 million add ons, I think that mm -hmm. has to be negotiated. Like, what, what are the clauses? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I mean, hmm. it's a very. I mean, I I've never been so bored of a transfer. Like the player doesn't <laughs> want to come, the club doesn't want to keep, and United want him, mm -hmm. and the manager wants him. I mean, God only knows what. I mean, it could just be another Pogba situation where you know we might just destroy another 25 year old. Because when Pogba came to United, he was the best midfielder under 21. I think he won the Golden Ball as well, hmm. and we just destroyed him. So, I mean, I can see why Dion doesn't want to come, even though Ten Hag is there. Hmm. Yeah, this is uh, it's crazy, man. What's going on? What happened to Almighty United? Back in the day, when the United come calling, yeah. you just know that you're going now. You know, start packing yeah. now and go because it's United. But now it looks like even Frankie de Jong rejecting United. That's uh, that is strange. What about this guy uh, from Ajax? Uh, Lissandro? Lissandro Martinez? Lissandro yeah, Martinez. Lissandro Martinez, okay. What? Yeah, the situation is that, look, I told that yesterday, like, you know, if we had uh, put in that bid of 40, I think we put in 45 plus uh, mm -hmm. 5 million on add-ons in the beginning of June, we okay. would have gotten. But since now, Ajax have sold lots of players, like they have sold Gravenberg and all these, Haller, Missouri. Mm -hmm. So they won't did want to play hardball. So yesterday or day up before yesterday, they had a meeting for board meeting in which United bid was rejected. Like now they want 60 million mm -hmm. uh, with add-ons. So they have increased the price from 50 million to 60 million. They've added 10 million because we are desperate and uh, Tenag really wants him. Tenag actually wanted Urian Timber. He's another Ajax centre back, 19 years old. 
mm-hmm. but uh, if we couldn't get him because van gaal said to timber that don't go don't join united because then i can't guarantee a world cup spot in the holland team so mm-hmm. he rejected us and now martinez he is desperate to come i think we will get that deal done but it will be interesting like how much for how much we can get it i think it will be around 50 or 52 million and uh, i think united will be getting like you know Mm. Ego in the face because I mean, with all respect to Ajax, you know, and to that league, I don't think any player should be going more than you know, unless he is like you know, world's best centre back or world's best forward, not more than fifty million. So to be paying more than fifty million for a Ajax player, it's. I mean, if it was Chelsea or some other team, you would have got him for forty million. But since it's United, yeah, yeah, and I, I kind of like what United did about uh, about the other guy. They waited mm-hmm. until. Uh, Leon negotiate negotiate the price and everything, and United went and paid the price because if it was if they started negotiation, yeah. I think it was going to be like fifty million. <laughs> What do you think about that? No, but look, Leon only wanted to give eleven million. Like they didn't even wanted to give fifteen million, and fifteen million for United is like change, pocket change for us. And Ten Hag really wanted him because he saw him play in the Eredivisie. Uh, mm-hmm. Fine wood, I think. Fine wood, yeah, fine wood. And he likes him because he's an attacking fullback. So I wouldn't say that you know we hijacked him because you know we are really fighting against Leon. I mean, mm-hmm. Leon, with all respect, they don't have the kind of money we have. So yeah, yeah, we just overpaid by four million and we got the deal. So it's not a big. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like you know we did a big thing. I mean, if we can get Deon for sixty million mm. plus five million add-ons and so you know packages seventy million, then I will you know give them some credit, but. I mean, last year that's a backup left back. So for 15 million, we bought Dan James for 15 million. If we spent extra 5 million mm-hmm. instead of Dan James, we could have got Eze. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Crystal Palace bought Eze for 20 million, and now you know if Chelsea are offering him, they will want you to give like you know 50, 60. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Wow, interesting. So what's going to happen to Luke Shaw and? Uh, Alex Telles because can you really keep uh, all three of them No 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 I think Telles will go I think this pre season will be important I think Ten Hag will have a look then Luke Shaw will start because obviously he's on 200 grand a week 200 or 2 I don't know how much he's on I think he's on the same money as Ben Chilwell so mm-hmm. I think he will be our starting left back then Malasia as the backup left back because we are in the Europa League as well so we need two left Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I think Telles will move on. I can't see him. Yeah. So maybe you went. I mean, maybe in Italia, Italian league or something. Maybe he can join Jose Mourinho. Who knows? I mean, we love to send our players to Italy. I mean, for some reason, yeah. that's the only good thing we do. We can ship off a bad place to you know, like Inter Milan or Juventus. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pereira actually confirmed. You got some money out of him, like yeah, 10 yeah, yeah, yeah. to 11 million. He's gonna play for yeah. Fulham. Yeah. I, Yeah, I think it's 10 million plus 3 million add-ons, but it is not going. It is not useful to us because last month, I think on 29th, no, not 29th, on 22nd, the Glazers took 11 million dividends. So it's just covering that. Basically, we should have had at least 20 million to spend more with the Pereira sale, and the Glazers wouldn't have taken that 11 million. Mm-hmm. So it's just covering that dividends. It's not like an additional money. We should yeah. have more money than that. But I see. I see what you mean. Eleven million. Ah, huh. I mean, wow. if I'm not wrong, like you know, there is a contract in Todd Bowley's, uh, or you know, that consortium you have. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. you are not allowed to take any money from Chelsea for the next ten years. I yeah. think there is a clause in that by the Premier League. <laughs> yeah, they don't care. Cronkies, don't, uh, not even Cronkies. I'm talking about the Glazers. They don't care. They take their money. You know. No, no, I'm talking about Bowley. Oh yeah. So uh, Bali, yeah, they they don't they they are not allowed to take any money for ten years. That's true, and they signed some something called anti Glazers uh, agreement. It's in the contract. They call it <laughs> anti Glazers. Like you have to do the opposite of the Glazers are doing. Yeah. So we have money, we have investment, and and uh, we should be fine. This transfer window right. kind of a little complicated, but when everybody's settled, I think we should be fine. 
but at least this bowling guy is interested in football like you know he's going to barcelona and all that yeah. getting involved he's not sitting in his you know ac room or in his condo no. and you know just waiting for things he's not like comfortable so, in los angeles and uh, and enjoying the beach yeah, and yeah. pina colada he's flying does he own any like nba team in no America, he like, he got some shares for in... the la lakers He's not like the majority oh. owner there, but he got like, I don't know, 10% or something like that. And then the, the Dodgers is actually where he got the more shares. So he's kind of the big guy here because he knows how to negotiate the contract and, and spend money. Like they pay even more money to players than anybody here. But, uh, so he has a sporting background. Yeah, he got the sporting background. That's the problem. Okay. And, uh, That's nice. Uh Mr. Capo TV nice, nice to see you. He's talking about Manchester United in the final in the final of Europa League already. I don't know. But yeah, United can go and win it. Uh they have a good manager that can oh. win it. I don't know. But uh United are looking for a competitive team that can compete in the Premier League and be in the Champions League. United it's just even sad for me even to yeah. think about Manchester United in the Europa League. You know that Thursday night like da 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 da. da. Look at the song, you know. Yeah, I mean I don't want to hear that tune. It's so like <laughs> Thursday night in Kazakhstan somewhere. Oh, uh, you know, uh, when it's like minus 20 degrees on Thursday night, Cristiano yeah. Ronaldo over there listening to the Europa League song. So talking about Ronaldo, what, 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 what is the latest? So the latest Ronaldo is that, look, I, th- I mean, he really has some personal problems. I don't think he's like, you know, uh, uh, staying off to push a move or something like mm-hmm. there was reports that he really has some personal problems and I mean, they should not be revealed so obviously he's dealing with them and he's a professional and you know he has been said like even at Juventus like he wanted to leave Juventus but he played the, their first game I think against Udinese and scored a couple of goals as well so but again he wants to leave United like he has made his mind and that's why Jorge Mendes you know he's mm-hmm. uh, looking for clubs but uh, I mean like Chelsea, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, United are adamant that they will not sell to another English club. So that leaves, uh, I mean, Bayern. I mean, Bayern can't even pay Lewandowski. So, I mean, I don't think they will take him. So, I mean, he doesn't have many options, unfortunately, for uh, yeah, yeah. for him. I mean, I mean, look at him, like, you know, I mean, one of the best players in the world, like, the the history. <laughs> he doesn't have any club to go to. I mean, yeah, at the that's moment, the, that's it's... what United does to you. <laughs> that's what we do to even you know, historical players. That's yeah. the United curse. Yeah, yeah, so, it's a United thing. I know what you mean. Yeah, it's just a United thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, somebody in the chat, Mr. Dalu, said that Manchester United has just confirmed that the worst player of uh, their starting eleven is gonna be. The captain next season. Okay. Eric Ten yeah, yeah. Hag looks to have already lost it. We are going nowhere with Maguire as a captain. Okay. So <laughs> why everybody yeah. get hit Maguire, man? It looks I mean, like look, so he is he... the worst. He's the worst captain in our history. He's the worst. I will say he's the worst player in our history. Like I mean, if you just look at him, like, you know, if you watch him week in and week out, like how we do, you will just see mm-hmm. that he does not belong here. I mean, he yeah. has no business being here at United. I even remember and, uh, a youngster, our youngster, 19 years old, Armando Broja, destroying him, like, just like a baby. I'm like, Maguire, yeah. you are... How Forget old is Armando Broja. Do you remember that goal? Do you remember that goal which uh, Batshuayi scored? Where he just <laughs> nodded the ball in front of Lindelof and Maguire. Yeah, and yeah. Scored. I think it was the FA Cup or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maguire. Oh, he should have been he? sent off in that game, wasn't he? He should have been sent off in that game. For yeah, years. that way he stabbed on somebody's nut. And then he got away yeah. with it. But yeah, he always tried to injure people, even his own colleagues. Like he, <laughs> he's funny, yeah. man. He's very, very <laughs> funny. If you look at comps, like Harry Maguire fails, yeah. it's just so funny. 
just like a comedian really yeah <laughs> harry maguire so yeah good luck with captain harry maguire mr what is your name again mr dalu if you want to join me here herbert i think he's taking a break if you want to join us you want to join me because herbert is gone you can uh, click this link here and then you you're gonna talk to us let us know what you think remember you bring your own topic and we're gonna discuss about it or ask your question mr vasia i do not think chelsea really wanted these players kunde dembele rafinha delete otherwise otherwise two five well let me read it's just disappeared going very fast uh otherwise two two to five days negotiations pay 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 and done deal why waiting for other clubs decisions i mean i'm even tired of explaining the same thing i've been explaining it for every time that you you come to the show it doesn't depend on the chelsea and our targets are very difficult to get we pay the money the player don't want to come to us but you keep on repeating the same thing or of or two to five days you negotiate you pay the money and deal done it doesn't happen that way they are lawyers they are bankers they are agents they are players they are their families they are all kind of situations that you can get in the deal it's not you go to a market and you buy apples or banana it doesn't happen that way yes some players you can go and do it because they have release clothes and then they want to join your club that is easy go pay the release clothes get them but other players they're just waiting for their dreams to to come through or they're gonna choose you just because the first uh, the first choice failed so i don't know how to explain this but it's not that way so do you think todd boyle a billionaire is gonna waste his time flying his private jet all over the world go to portugal meet with mendes go to italy meet with some agent go to spa to to spain barcelona meet their 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 board over there just for nothing just for fun okay i'm gonna do you know how much costs like flying a private jet like just to park it for one hour in a private airport how much money he's spending so you think he, he he's just happy not to make deals and waiting for other teams to make deals it doesn't make any sense it's not this is not fifa this is not football manager okay the players that thomas tuko want are very very difficult to get we pay the money for for the other guy rafinha but rafinha already agreed personal terms with barcelona already three months ago what do you want chelsea to do we had to wait in case barcelona don't buy him so we can jump and get him the same with delete delete he just wanna go to bayern munich i don't know man i don't know how to explain to you but hey do some research to find out how the transfer market works it's not that easy as you you tell on paper for me i don't care if we lost rafinha if uh if i was too cool i would i would back uh, hakim ziyech give him a chance and also uh let me read i lost uh, uh also back back up uh, yeah harvey vale harvey vale okay play them in the right uh, system and we can we can make it big a big decision yeah i agree totally agree 100 percent he need just to twist the system trust hakim ziyech harvey vel is there to help you know from that side kalim hasanadoy also can help from time to time christian police can help but i'm not i'm not happy that they play from 
the right hand side because they are not that productive from that uh, that position but yeah good point have we sad and lost sterling after medical too <laughs> I don't know. Where is Rahim Sterling, people? He just missing. Somebody kidnapped him again. Or somebody hijacked him. I've been waiting for the entire day. The announcement. Nowhere to be seen. Very good point. <laughs> for striker, uh, we should give Armando Broja, uh, our own boy, to break the number nine curse just like tammy abraham did right yeah but again it looks like the manager you no know, he got a mindset towards certain players so it is what it is couple tv uh i'll try to come on sometimes during your stream don't worry bro you don't have to if you are uh, you still busy family first work school this is just us having fun here. Don't feel like you, you have to. No. You don't have to. Mr. Dalu. Do you think that uh, it is... It is a strategy by Eric Ten Hag to continue with Maguire as captain? I think that uh, deep inside, he is waiting to sign Lisandro and... And Maguire will be on the bench and only captain for name's sake. Hmm. Okay, so you think that Lisandro Martinez is going to bench Harry Maguire? Yeah, it could be a strategy. He doesn't want to bother the dressing room. And okay, you're still my captain, but you are on the bench. What's the point? You're not going to even talk. Because somebody is on the pitch. Yeah, it could be. Why not? It could be. Good strategy, though. <laughs> Good strategy. So, if players don't like Chelsea, forget about him. Stop talking and, uh, and waiting. Find other players. Like I said, everything looks good, rosy, black or white on paper. But sometimes you don't, you know. Sometimes the manager just wants some specific players. And if you are patient, you can get them. Let me tell you what. You know what happened to Timo Werner and Kai Havert? Kai Havert's dream was to play for Real Madrid. Real Madrid were pushing. The pandemic came around, they didn't have money to buy him, and he tried everything to stay to wait for Real Madrid. But we were there pushing, show, showed him the project. He signed for Chelsea Football Club as a second choice, and he won us the Champions League, the World Cup, and all that. So I don't care, even if you didn't like us, you change your mind the last minute, you join the almighty blues, just do your job, that's all. Not everybody is supposed to be a Chelsea fan. Okay? They come to do a job and they leave. Just like Rudiger. He came to Chelsea, did his job, kissed the badge. The next morning, he's at Real Madrid kissing the Real Madrid badge. That is part of business. So, it looks very easy. Oh, go to other target. And you go to another target and you get a freaking lemon. <laughs> a dead wood again. So, listen, you have to make sure that you don't panic. Why are we panicking? We go slowly. We're going to wait. We don't get somebody. We're going to have somebody somewhere. And you have to take your time. Anyways, the team that we have now, okay, if we can get just like Koulibaly in the defense, and if other people, if we don't sign other positions, you can deal. We can cope with what we got and slowly and surely next window somebody good is gonna come up on the market remember what happened with lukaku okay instead of going for holland we tried to to rush things force lukaku to come give him 350k a week buy him for 100 million for what i don't know instead of wait Tammy Abraham is a decent player. Give him a chance one more season. Promote Armando Bruja or something because 
you have to wait for the right the right person and then it was oh no no we're not gonna wait anymore missing piece boom 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 the manager didn't want him you know the story after that so you are the the person you are there you're gonna be the first person here to complain about oh that wasn't thomas tuko signing why did you buy him thomas tuko didn't want him but you are the you are the first here to push for people to rush things up and then get players now for the feel good factor what the point of getting harry maguire just because he's free and you have to make online people happy if that makes sense it's just an example i'm giving you here okay you rush to somebody just because you didn't get your your first target what's gonna happen you have another lukaku situation you can't get rid of him you overpaid for somebody you know kepa risabalaga 75 million you think that that is the money that we're supposed to pay no because we try to rush things up all the time we panic by all the time so you have your own theory and mindset but you have to keep an open mind my brother keep an open mind the defense according to mr adi he said that should give powell buyamba uh, and we have a lot of talent in the academy if players don't want to come to chelsea uh as for you okay save the money use the academy product and prove people wrong yeah i kind of agree with you but listen we are chelsea we have to f we have to balance things i love the academy everybody knows about it but you're not gonna use the entire defense with a bunch of kids they need experience they need to learn from others tiago silva is not gonna be there and play 30 games a season no we have to manage him he's gonna get injured and all that fatigued and all that so for me i am looking at least one good defender very experienced one that we can count when our youngsters are panicking he's there just to help them but i got your point i'm an academy guy you know I, I support them but i don't support the fact that we have to go all for academy i'm there just to bring them slowly and surely when our machine is working good instead of like bring them under pressure and expect result from them they're gonna be killed by chelsea online community you know Oh, look at them. They are not good enough. Wah, 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 wah. You know how it goes. So, Keep Conor Gallagher, please. Yes, Conor Gallagher needs to stay. That is an obligation. If you don't keep Conor Gallagher, you have a problem with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? We got a problem. You should stay. Uh, I just wanted to tell you, God bless you. Okay, thank you so much. You and your family. Much appreciated. I guess it goes uh, right to my heart because in this business, when you get hit 24-7 for giving people free content and platform to express themselves and people don't want you even to have to have your own opinion. You know, your opinion doesn't matter. They just want to impose you what they think is right. So, attack your family but you are blessing my family which is which means a lot you know what i mean so it is what it is we are living in a world where people can't even have a, a, a normal conversation you know just attack 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 insult so appreciate it let us give the youngster a youngster their chance look at uh, phil forden He's doing uh, at Manchester City, Trent Alexander Arnold at Liverpool, and let uh, let the big guns trust their academy product. Okay, I just explained that. Like, yes, if you look at Phil Foden, he didn't come straight to the first team. He was getting some games here and there, and he was around bowlers. You know, David Silva, learning from him, people like that around him, and now he's. He's getting that number one spot slowly, surely and slowly. 
the problem we have at Chelsea Football Club, we use those kids only for league games against like like uh, league league one opposition or no league teams. This is not how you learn. Sometimes you have to put them. Okay, let them face the fire. Let them learn from mistakes. That's how they can grow. If you only wait, you know, until January, they don't even have any playing time. They train, 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 no game. Because you want to use senior players all the time. But the real the real way to do it is just to include them sometimes. Give him. You know, if, if you are playing against Norwich City, for example, okay? If they were in the Premier League, okay? Fulham. Let's put Fulham there because they are in the Premier League. You know, Forest. Teams like that. You don't always need to play your big guns. Try the youngsters and see how it goes. The second half, you can change. Five subs. You know? Adi say, I wish uh, we... We rewind. We rewind the season... 1920 uh, season this season what do you mean by that like we don't get anybody and we are forced like like to use academy product yeah that also could force people to work hard that's where you you know the difference between coach and manager because coach they will coach they will they will get the best out of players but certain Certain people are just managers. They know how to manage a group of people and get the result. I don't know if that makes sense to many people. But we, we want to see another side of Thomas Tuko, which is coaching. You know, create the right system and coach people properly. Kalim Hasunadoi, we want to see him more and more playing from his natural position, having the... Uh, the end product and all that. All that comes with coaching. It doesn't come from heaven. Somebody needs to help you to develop. Look at Vinicius Jr. You know, one season, the other season he was like headless chicken. A lot of skills, tricks and all that. No end product, no nothing. Even Karim Benzema was saying, you know what? Don't pass the ball to this guy because he's playing against us. This guy is awful. Look at him. Ancelotti took over. Look at the transformation. Vinicius Jr. He he pretty much changed his game. Rodrigo, another level. Valverde, another level. That is coaching. Coaching, coaching, coaching. But you don't always like, okay, you're not good enough, you are out. I'm going to buy somebody else. That is not coaching. If you have some kind of skills, there's a reason why you are in that level. Okay, so I'm going to take this level to the next level. That is coaching. Not always, okay, you're not good enough, you don't fit the system, you are out. How about the system fitting certain players? You know what I mean? Conor Gallagher is a hell of a player. Okay. Chelsea will regret if they let him go. He is the future. Yeah, they will be stupid to let him go. Just like Armando Broja. RC from Angola, right? Hello. Nice to see you. You don't have to produce yourself. I already know that you are from Luanda. Angola. Bondia. Uh, Goodwin said, please, bro, are we still having Greenwood in Manchester United? Greenwood still have some uh, issues with uh, some allegations. I'm not going to talk about it here, but everybody knows that the kid is going through some legal issues. So I don't know if he's going to play football again when he comes back from that. Unless if he's cleaned and he didn't do anything wrong and and but it's always people are gonna always accuse him of such and such even if he's cleaned that is the society that we are living even if people suspect you of doing something that's it that's it you are dead you know cancel society but let's wait and see what's gonna happen with greenwood 
Big up, bro. Is from Kenya. Yeah. Brads, Brads football and gaming. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> Alan, hi. Hi to you. So, people, I put the link on top there for you guys to call, but nobody is calling. Yeah. No, I had few, few callers already, but if you want to call us, it's free of charge. You just click the link and we're going to put you through. Okay. What else do we have to discuss here? Bada boom, bada boom. <clears throat> bada boom, bada boom. What else is trending in the community? Everybody, anybody knows if Raheem Sterling is announced or something? Announce Raheem Sterling, please. Let's go to Fab. Somebody please announce Raheem Sterling. Chelsea fans are not happy at all. So there is no update here from Fabrizio Romano. He pinned this uh, Rafinha situation here on top. <clears throat> For people who don't know, Rafinha feels his move to Barcelona is imminent. Final verbal proposal, 72 million guaranteed. Wow. <laughs> With all details included. Lead expected to accept once it will be official bid. So that means this is just a proposal. They have to actually go with the money or the structure of the deal. Wow. Rafinha has been pushing with lead in the last 48 hours. So this guy is just pushing for Barcelona. He doesn't want a Chelsea. But people are making stories about Boley and Thomas Tuchel not doing anything. What do you want them to do? <laughs> His biggest dream is to join Barcelona. And like I said, you just don't go there and buy anybody just because you missed on this guy. Otherwise, you're going to buy very, very bad players. So that is the pinned comment there. Official confirmed. Aston Villa sign. Blah, blah. Augustin Sun. Augustin Sun. On loan deal from Sevilla. Buy option included. Potential value 4.5 million. Augustin Sun, Augustin Sun has signed in the morning after medical completed. Aston Villa are having a very, very good transfer window so far. Yeah, they got uh, even Kamara on free actually from Marseille. Um, Diego Carlos. And then this guy, and then another guy that they got from Celtic. And then Philippe Coutinho signed on permanent. Yeah, very, very good window for them. No excuses. They have to perform next season. What else? This is Pereira. Andreas Pereira joins uh, Fulham on permanent deal from Manchester United. 10 million fee plus 3 million add-ons. Fulham is our noisy neighbors in London, people. Okay, any more comment here? Oh, let me see. So, people, if you don't if you don't give me energy in the chat and you don't you don't come through, and then I'm gonna have to leave sooner and go do something else. You know, don't forget to like. How many likes do we have? Oh, people, let's get to at least 100 likes. Yes, we can. Yes, we will. Come on. Come on, people. One click. Your brother here is going to be here for hours. I've been here for almost two hours already. So if you want to encourage me, all you have to do, just push that, uh, that like button. All right. Let's see. What else? Let me just read some of your comments here. Uh, let us go for Ganabri again. Hussein, listen, even Ganabri, it looks very, very easy on paper, right? You can bring whatever name you want. Oh, let's go for Neymar. 
Do you know how much it's going to cost? Do you know how long it's going to take to even start the conversation to get Ganabri or Neymar? Just think about it. Like I always repeat, this is not like a supermarket where you have to go, take something, go to the cashier, and then pay the money, get your item and go. This need to be prepared. There are so many teams who already prepare everything month and month ago. We were under sanctions. We couldn't do anything. And we're just rushing everything right now. So, hmm. I don't know why people don't understand simple stuff. Ganabri, you can say, do you think that he want to come to Chelsea? He used to play for Arsenal. Every single day you will see him on social media with Arsenal shirt, claiming his love for Arsenal and all that. Real Madrid wanted him at some point. You know? So how 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 that is 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 gonna start? Another person is gonna bring oh let go let go all for for Leroy Sane, brother. How are you gonna get him? Where even the discussion is gonna start? Just think about it. It doesn't just depend on Chelsea Football Club or let go all for somebody. It doesn't work. <clears throat> Sorry, it doesn't work that way, my people. Okay, so let's go. Robino, hello, nice to see you again. From Cameroon. Wizzy, which team has won the transfer window so far? <clears throat> which team so far you can argue? Tottenham Hospers, in my opinion. Richarlison, uh, Perisic, Besuma, Langley. And also they confirm the transfer of Kulusevsky. You know, they signed him on permanent. So that is that is four quality players over there. They're going to get uh, Jed, huh? Jed Spence, that is his name. And they're still working on our target. On top of that, look at the quality they already got. Son, Ken, man, Horbjerg. They still have uh, Hugo Loris. What a team Spurs have. So I'm telling you right now, don't sleep on Spurs because they can surprise many, many people. So I think they are winning the window. But listen, winning the window doesn't mean you're going to win the league or you're going to beat everybody because sometimes the Spurs curse is real. Okay? Playing on the pitch is a completely different story than winning the transfer. Arsenal also did good. They have Gabriel Jesus. Who else? Did they sign somebody else besides Jesus? Remind me. Yeah, the guy from Portugal. What is his name again? Vieira. Good player. Uh, they wanted to sign Rafinha. And I heard that they're going to push and sign Lisandro Martinez. And uh, probably... Tillerman still on the list. So Arsenal also having a very, very good transfer window so far. Manchester City, of course, winner. They signed another goalkeeper from, uh, I forgot his name. He was playing in uh, in Italy or somewhere. And then they got the man himself, Erling Haaland. Wow, look at that. And then they have uh, Alvarez. Wow, that guy is just a killer. Just a, the new Aguero. So you can make a case there. If you go to... What team again? Liverpool also. You can argue. Very good window. Darwin Nunes. Okay. They signed Diaz. Diaz was in January, right? But let's just include him. Just like... Yeah, Diaz is already there. They signed another young kid. Cavallo. Cavallo. Cavallo from uh, Fulham very very good player and I think they signed another right back from from Scotland somewhere I don't know if it's Celtic or whatever so you can argue also that they had a very very good window and they sold money they, they managed to keep uh, Salah 
And that is just like a new signing, right? Salah, they gave him the money that he wanted. He's going to stay there. So, man, everybody's having a very good transfer window, but Chelsea Football Club. <laughs> Even Manchester United confirmed the kid. What's his name? Malaysia. Chelsea, we're still waiting even to confirm one. Sterling. No. Still waiting and monitoring. Season 2021-2022. I think we use academy players. Mount, Reese, Loftus-Cheek, Hassan Adoy, Chaluba. You think we use. Okay. So what the point are you trying to make here? For me, it's time for Thomas Tuchel to promote his own players, though, because other people promoted the players that they are doing good at the moment. They took the risk. They lost their jobs to promote those kids. They lost a lot of games, got a lot of sticks because they wanted to help the youngsters. So he need to take his own risk and not take credit from other people's work. So I will really, really respect him even, even more if he... He can promote few academy products that you just said here, you know, like uh, Lewis Hall, Harvey Vell, Gallagher. Can you really cons can you really tell that that he's really an academy because he been alone for three years? He came first under Mauricio Sarri. He played Europa League under Mauricio Sarri. He won Europa League. So Gallagher is another case. You can't give credit to Thomas Tuchel or Lampard or whatever. It's Sari. Sari who promoted Gallagher. But Chaloba, Chaloba also, you can make a case, but Chaloba was also on loan. So Broja, yeah, you can argue. Broja was Lampard giving him a chance, but didn't play many, only few games. In the Premier League, probably one game. Uh, in the small leagues, in small games like uh, Carabao or FA Cup that he played more games there. He also promoted Tino Angeren, actually played a lot of Champions League games that we won. Yeah, he was there. He won us. He played the Champions League the, the year that we won. We won it. Tino Angeren, Champions League winner. Okay. People. The more you comment, the more energy you give me to continue. If I don't get comment, I don't get calls, and then I will conclude that uh, people are tired and need to go. Mr. Javi Thomas said that uh, I am 100% glad Rafinha is going to Barcelona and not to our club. I don't think you are going to say the same if he signed for Chelsea Football Club. You are going to say, I'm so glad that we pulled it off. Wow, what a deal. What a player. But the walk of shame that every fan in the world would do. I'm not talking about you only, but about even me. I would be there. Oh, we didn't want him. We didn't want. <laughs> you know how it goes, right? For the banter. You will say, oh, we didn't want Rafinha. We didn't want Gabriel Jesus. We didn't want such and such. That is what we do. <clears throat> I think I said something like that on uh, on social media this morning. <laughs> we didn't want somebody only when you miss out on that target. It's called the walk of shame. <laughs> but I know what you mean. I can't find the post that I made this morning about it. So, by the way, this is my page here on social, Twitter and Instagram, Facebook, the same, Green Turf. Let's follow each other and let's grow the community. We're still waiting for this guy, man. Raheem Sterling, yesterday, he got a new trim. His medical was done, and apparently he was going to fly to Hollywood, you know, California, just to meet, uh, to meet his colleagues. But until now... It's not announced yet. It's not announced yet, so we're still waiting for this Mr. Sterling here. So, <laughs> yeah. 
I can't find the post really when I reminded people just to be honest and just be humble. Take the L, bro. We lost. We lost. You know it. We lost. We hijacked somebody from Arsenal and we got hijacked. <laughs> so the hijacker been hijacked. How sad is that? Let's take the L and let's move on, bro. Because we gave Arsenal a hell of a hell of hard time. We gave we gave them sticks. Oh, look at us. We took Rafinha from your noses. Yes, 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 yes. And all of a sudden, my friends, Barcelona came calling and boom, they punched us right. <laughs> and then uh, I can't find the post for some reason. I don't see it. Yeah, this is the post that I made this morning. You see? The walk of shame. <clears throat> like we're going to say, we never want it to delete if we lose. He's a bowler. We love him. We, we, we beat uh, Bayern Munich and all that. The bragging right is going to be ours. But when we lose, we never wanted him to begin with. Walk of shame. <laughs> uh, that is the post that I made. So, when are we gonna announce somebody? Please tell me. Let's double check on Romano again if there is any breaking news. No, no breaking news from Romano. And let's see if we can find something from some other Chelsea sources or oh, copy paste nothing six minutes Romelu Lukaku has oh, come on man let him let Lukaku rest where he is I don't want to say rest in peace <clears throat> Hospers Josh what's going on bro what's up mate how are you doing we can't hear you muted oh wait wait give me also few uh give me a few oh, seconds wait, oh, wait, let me see if it's my problem or something oh, good, don't worry. can you hear me josh yeah yeah can you hear me no we can't hear you it's uh wait no? it could be my 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 problem turn, uh turn give me a few more hello josh hi, hi can you hear me yes i can hear you now What's up? What's up? How you doing? Good, good, Josh. Um, what do you have to say, brother? You are having the hell of a window, bro. You I got know. like, it's huh? It's mental. It's mental. It's mental. Can you believe uh, Daniel Levy spending that kind of money? That's a, a huge surprise, mental. man. Mate, I'm, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I think you know we're probably having one of the better transfer windows of, um, of you know, of, of the last couple, the last five seasons of ours. Mm -hmm. Before Poch's era, um, I feel like we're really dominating this transfer window, and, and you for know, sure, that's the first trophy. That's the first trophy we we might win. You know, <laughs> yeah. This season, really, I've been telling everybody. As you know, I'm a Chelsea fan, but you have to be honest. Yeah, yeah, you're you have to be honest to say it. Spurs are going to win a trophy. I don't see them not winning a trophy. You have uh, one of the best managers in the world, Antonio Conte. Yeah. You have uh, one of the deadliest attack in the world, Sun and 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 Sun Ken, and, and you just yeah. added some uh, some Diego Costa. <laughs> Richarlison Diego is Costa, just, Richarlison, Richarlison is kind of Diego Costa because you hate him when he plays against you, but yeah. you love him when he plays for you because he got some kind of you know that. Uh, that nastiness that, that you need that, 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 that hunger to fight that's hunger to fight even physically on the pitch those are the yeah. kind of players that antonio conte likes so yeah. he got everything now you are walking on your bench uh jet space is coming you already have uh yeah. uh perisic He's odd, but still we can... Stitch, we've got Matt Dodge, we've got um, Ryan Sessignon, Serge Reguilon, Emerson, yep. got a quite a fair amount. You got it all, bro. You got it all. You should yeah. be very, very happy now. Celebrate, because yeah. I don't see... It. You know what? I made a video saying, Chelsea, we're going to finish 7th. 
We're not gonna make yeah. it even in conference league. I got a lot of sticks, but let's be honest. Right now, if Chelsea don't sign anybody, can anybody tell me how the hell Chelsea are gonna beat Spurs or Arsenal? I don't see it. I just don't True. see. It. I mean, listen, mate. I, I, I agree. I, I, I wouldn't understand how Chelsea, how Chelsea could beat Tottenham. I mean, maybe potentially in in the side um, of you know the final, final, final push for Tottenham. Um, mm -hmm. You know, where the, you know, always Tottenham lack in the final um, part of the season, mm -hmm. um, but I think we really showed it this season. The interesting thing about Chelsea this season, and and, and which, which I'm very very happy, and and well, I would be happy for the Chelsea fans, and I'd be happy for Ryan Sterling to move from Ryan Sterling to Chelsea. I think that's a fabulous move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, Ryan Sterling. You know what? At the beginning, I didn't really want him. I wanted uh, Gabriel uh, Jesus. Yeah. But uh, it looks like uh, Thomas Tuchel trusts uh, Raheem Sterling more than, than Jesus. So I'm yeah. going to trust the manager. But kind of that brother missed a lot of chances. And knowing how many chances we, we miss the Chelsea Football Club all the time, I'm kind of a little skeptical about it. But yeah, I, I, I will welcome him. I will support him, but still, like I, I, I think you should be very excited for him. I, I feel like the player won't be necessarily finishing. Mm -hmm. uh, will, will not be necessarily there to finish the the, the goal. He'll probably be there to um, help and support Kai Havertz, who will most likely be playing on the striker as mm -hmm. you guys are just sold with Kaku. Um, and you know, I think I think I think it's a great deal in general because it, because Pulisic in, in the meantime Pulisic was getting the the the, the space. Um, on the left wing um, mm -hmm. too easily. I feel like it's the same with Tottenham. A lot of players nowadays just mm -hmm. don't fight for their place in the squad for the likes of Harry Kane, um, Kante, actually Kante not, but let's say uh, Thiago Silva, Mendy, um, you know, mm -hmm. there's lots of players who don't fight for their, for, their, for their spot. And I feel like for Pulisic, he was getting a bit too ahead of himself and thinking, okay, you know, you know um, the, the manager Tuchel, Tuchel, Tuchel will definitely pick me because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm probably the only left wing available and only the good left wing available. And I feel like now that Raheem Sterling's here to help push that little uh, part and, you know, say, listen, mate, Pulisic, mm -hmm. you're not the only one who can play left winger here. And I can also play striker. So Raheem Sterling could be fighting for both striker and left wing spots. So yeah. very interesting, to see, you know, where he'll fit in for the, for the team. Yeah, he's going to provide a lot of competition. And uh, yeah. yeah, that's that is going to be it's going to be a very good uh, effect because you know we can we can get uh, the best out of uh, out of uh, many players. So Josh, you got your your channel, right? Yeah, yeah. My my, my channel Spurs Life, um, and I got my Instagram, which I just hit ten thousand literally ten minutes ago. Woo! Uh, about an hour ago, yeah. So congratulations. You know what? I, I'm still uh, like uh, very low on social media because I didn't really join social media until like recently. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I was just uh, I was just using a family account for other things, but because of what I do, I, I had to create an account. But it's it's a lot of a fight over there. Sometimes you feel like fighting with people, people fighting all the time for for transfer and that but yeah yeah congratulations man so uh, thank you, thank you. uh everybody go subscribe to t i think i watched you a few times already on youtube because what i do is I, like I, like i search for you know especially small channels because they're still like authentic that like they don't they, they say things the way they are because when you get yeah. to a certain level you start thinking about business most of the time and you like i'm not gonna say this you know I'm not gonna say that yeah. and then you start you know yeah. so uh small channels mostly they still you know them they still you know they still have yeah, their own i mean mm -hmm. i suppose live on the youtube channel on 550 mm -hmm. subscribers i can still be myself but like yeah once i hit a thousand subscribers or uh, or 2000 i want i'm gonna probably have to start changing to see, yeah say what i uh, say what i want because you know right now it's very easy for me to give on my opinion because i, I don't have that much criticize uh, criticism but on my instagram where i've got 10,000 followers i can't really say it mm, like my own opinion on stuff yeah yeah you see very very easy mm -hmm. so that uh, that's the way it is my brother so congratulations yeah. on hitting that and keep pushing for for your youtube channel if you you have time and you see us i have another channel actually 
with what's it called? What's it called? uh the green turf we talked green uh green turf. green turf got like more than green turf like green turf one word and yeah. and uh it's it's over a hundred thousand over there oh wow thirteen thousand jeez yeah so we have uh, we do some watch alongs we do we do you know we, we we don't care about the team that you support but sometimes you know yeah. you are you are a chelsea fan and you want to be a little bit biased that that's gonna happen always yeah. but i try to oh, just cool. So cool. yeah give the chance to everybody to express themselves especially here is just yeah. the channel for people you want to fight don't feel bad like criticizing chelsea just because i'm a no that's what football is all about you know bring it on you want to fight bring it on yeah i'm gonna take it in the chin and we're gonna have a good conversation that's what we do here so so nice really to see you here so any any breaking news from your community who who else are you guys going um, to sign well there's not been much news obviously we've got Jed Spence, who we're very linked to very, very much. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, we've been over this for almost a month regarding Jed Spence, and we have not gotten anywhere in terms of, you know, signing him. And mm-hmm. now it's looking like we will probably be getting um, to the end of um, the, the, the transfer window and might, you know, might be able to sign him. Not sure if he will. Uh, it'll be an interesting, interesting um, deal if we do sign him in terms of who will start as a right wing back position. Um, I actually wanted to come over to you to speak a little bit about. Um, some Chelsea news. Um, yeah, yeah. Go on. Now, we got... Well, I, 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 number one, I'm a football fan. That's for sure. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Fan, sure. One, and then I'm a soccer fan. So, um, I love football. Overall. Obviously, there's a... But we're, we're, we're rivals in terms of football. But if we're talking about football in general, we could talk about mm-hmm. whatever we like. like um, so, yeah. the question I want to ask you is, for example, now that... I feel like in terms of your centre-back positions, mm-hmm. what, what you guys play with three at the back sometimes or two at the back, correct? Yes, sir. Right. So, I feel like now that you, now that you don't have any Christiansen in, in your club anymore, you don't have Aspi in your club, you don't have Kurt Zuma in your club, mm-hmm. you don't have Rudiger in your club, mm-hmm. there's a lot of defenders out. So, who, who would be your three or two centre-backs if you'd start? Very, very good question. Very good question. That's why I put ourselves to finish seventh or finish uh, 10th okay so Ooh, now we are man, work- <laughs> we are working on Jim. on matisse delit unfortunately yeah. matisse delit don't want to come to chelsea this is the problem we have now you, did you know yeah. that we, we we submitted a bid for rafinha but rafinha wanted to yeah. go to barcelona so we have another case here matisse delit is a priority mm-hmm. for 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 the manager but he doesn't want to come to Chelsea. Priority is Bayern Munich. So we're still waiting on that. And then I heard that we are working on Nathan Aki. Nathan Aki used to be a Chelsea football club. Like years ago, yeah. we sold him to... Uh, a very, Bo- very good player. Yeah, to Bournemouth. And then he went to City, sitting on the bench all the time. We heard, I heard yeah. that we can go for him. Gilles Koundé also, I heard that he, his priority is Barcelona. So we, we are in the case where, I don't know, I don't understand why people don't want to come to us and we are like our, yeah. we are like number two for them. But I'm, I'm, I'm sure that we're going to sign at least a couple, couple of them, even if we don't sign the lead. Ake, yeah. it looks like Ake is the closest one. And then we can go for Bremer, or Josko Gavdiol, something you know, we, we might go for unknown, no names, yeah. and then try to, 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 to push them from the academy, to we, yeah, to make them big at Chelsea the way we did with Rudiger. Because when we bought Rudiger, he was just uh, just a good player in the in a good level, yeah, just a little player, yeah. But when Thomas Tuchel took over, he made him world class, very good system for him, yeah. And then for 18 months, that brother was out of this world. But before that, he was average at best. Chelsea fans wanted yeah. him out. Chelsea fans didn't want to see Rudiger anymore. But we changed the system. We gave him a chance. He became world class. And now he left for free. We didn't get anything. So I'm, I'm confident that we're going to get somebody. But probably not big names. Not the names that people are waiting for. But sometimes yeah. low-key names can be 
good for your team okay they can become yeah, world class so, so so the thing with me is that like you know it, it's great that chelsea and uh, have been able to do you know good business i mean how, how much are we talking about Liam sterling how much is he uh uh 40 i heard 45 plus like 5 million add-ons 45 million yeah, so say, say 50 mil he was 50 million I mean, yeah let's put it 50. 50 mil and then you're getting naki uh, naki uh yeah i think na na nake ake mm -hmm. for 45 mil i heard yeah so that's so that's uh 95 mil mm -hmm. and then you've got um who else you've got you're looking um maybe into Ronaldo and he's worth you know say how, how much would you give Ronaldo him? I think yeah, the 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 narrative was that we're going to offer like 14 million look how how do you yeah. feel about it like Ronaldo I, I mean do you think that it's going to be a good addition for Chelsea I'll be honest I think he'll be a perfect addition to Chelsea I mean it's like suited so He's well 37 though He's so. 37 but that's that's what I think Chelsea need. I think Chelsea need not necessarily a young, uh, a fast striker because then you got Timo Werner for that. Mm -hmm. He's young, he's, he's fast, he can get all that. But you guys got pace on the wings, so you can come in from the wings and have Ronaldo, as you know, central striker still going up, also come down because he's getting older. I, I mean, um, for Manchester United, they're getting good deals done now. They could, they're, they could be getting De Jong. They just got Ericsson. Um, their centre backs options, uh, Maguire staying captain. Yeah, but Malaysia. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Mal Malaysia. Yeah, exactly. They're doing interesting uh, business, but I thought like Chelsea they can really benefit for um, for Cristiano Ronaldo if they join. Uh, but, the, but but my point in this whole conversation regarding Chelsea and the money is that how are they going to be able to afford? We're talking about around a hundred what. 110 mil for all these players is it yeah is that yeah that's about, that? about fair yeah so we we but. still have some change left because in the meantime we're gonna have to get rid of few players uh hakim is yeah. being linked with uh, ac milan and yeah. uh, we already got what like are your thoughts on that? huh what, what are your thoughts on that well i don't want to i don't want to see him go because i'm a i'm a fanboy <laughs> of hakim ZH. Yeah, but um the manager don't want him he doesn't want to rate him so i have to respect because i have no decision to make here and uh, yeah. lukaku we got 10 million for for the the, the, the loan fee so we're gonna yeah. we're gonna get some money here and then probably 50 to 70 or even 80 million if we sell the so-called dead wood in the team so the budget is 200 million waiting for us plus sales that we want to make so we might have even more money than that but the problem is getting the right target the right players otherwise yeah. you might end up by by some more dead wood in the team that makes sense so yeah yeah it makes, makes perfect sense i mean you know there, there, there's lots of rumors going on and you know with the money that's that's the main thing in, involved i mean mm -hmm. you know it's, it's crazy but why why don't you tell me a little bit about i mean uh, it's like for me as a spurs fan uh, i've been, never been excited uh this much for uh you know, trans i mean it's crazy i'm willing with so many players mm -hmm. yeah it's so uh what's it what's your question again so my final question was that okay uh, who would your pairing, centre-back pairing be? Yeah, centre-back pairing, like I said, we still, we don't know even who is going to accept us. Who knows if Ake is going to say no to us again. So, we're yeah. still waiting, but as it stands, it's just uh, Thiago Silva, who is 37 years old, and we have uh, Levi from the, uh, the academy. He was on loan, actually, in the championship almost made it to the Premier League with a hardest feel. Uh, they lost yeah. in the final at Wembley. He's good, but he's still a kid, 19 years old. And then we have Malang Sa, who didn't even play many games last season. Uh, still uh, questionable. He's suspect. That brother is very suspect. And then we have Chaloba. Trevor Chaloba, actually, who is a, who is a good one, but need also yeah. more experience. So I want to see somebody like Koulibaly, you know? Ooh. Koulibaly, sure. like bring him at the bridge. He's like 30 years old. And then the kid are going to learn from him, you know? We need somebody imposing in that defense. 
Oh, and then, saying Silva and Koulibaly. Yeah, but the problem is Thiago Silva won't play 30 plus games in a season yeah. because he's old, he got injured often, and then common sense you have to give him some rest. So mm-hmm. if uh, so we need really at least two powerful imposing centre backs. Koulibaly is one of them. Delete looks like it's not gonna happen. So if we bring Kulibali and we bring somebody like Bremer, okay, we bring Bremer yeah. or somebody else, we should be fine. We should be fine. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh. Look, next season there's gonna be a lot of teams fighting for that centre back. I mean, you got Tottenham gonna fight for it. We got Barcelona gonna fight for one of those centre backs. Mm-hmm. Chelsea, uh, maybe even Man United, PSG, Juventus. Um, you know all these big, big, big teams. I mean, you got Bremer, um, uh, who, who Bremer, um, Skriniar, Koundé. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, got, 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 not, not a lot of centre backs uh, who are very, very good who's on the market right now. So yeah, yeah, you know what is surprising? Uh, yeah. The guy called Romagnoli, Romagnoli from AC Milan. He's on free, but nobody wants him for some reason. Like that yeah. brother, like a few years ago, everybody was talking about him. Like they say Romagnoli is one of the best in the world. And then Tomori went there and benched him, actually. Tomori from Chelsea went there to bench him. They benched Tomori? He benched Romagnoli when he went to AC Milan. Oh, Romagnoli, yeah. Yeah, so Romagnoli now, I heard that he's looking for a club. So... Chelsea been really stupid in on the market lately. We are selling players yeah. without getting players. Last season we sold Zuma without getting any replacement. That's why we had to give a chance to Chaluba. And we sold yeah. Mark Goy. Goy, we sold oh, him. Yeah, Goy. Yeah, yeah. He's doing good. He's in the in the national team, England national team now. And we are struggling and begging to, to find another centre-back. But we had everything in the team and we didn't value them. That makes me angry, man. That makes me angry. Yeah, I mean, look, it, it's, it's very, very true. You've you got a lot of class players, you got to remember. Chelsea have got a, a good squad there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, but, yeah, we... that's really good, yeah. We have just to work on our defense and see how it goes. But I'm so happy for... Well, uh, uh, unless if we play against you, we're going to beat you because you are Spursy. Uh, <laughs> at the end of the day, <laughs> you're going to do the Spursy. But man, it's scary. It's scary even to look at the Spurs team. Oh, and another brother here is a Detroit City fan. Hello, my friend. Detroit. Thank you so much for stopping by, man. If you wanna you wanna call and, and talk football or soccer, uh, you call me, you call us. Uh, the link is there on top of the chat for everybody to call. So, so um, yes, sir, go on. So it's, it, it, it's, 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 I, I feel like next season is gonna be a bang of a season. I mean, you got United who are doing doing great. You got, I mean, I mean their signings are, are, are could be could be good. I mean, sorry, let me let me rephrase that. They're not doing great, but mm-hmm. they're signing. Could be doing really, really good. You've got City who are just on fire to sign Haaland and Alvarez, Mo- Alvarez mm-hmm. Moreno, I think, and those and another the third one, I forgot what his name is. Okay. Uh, you got Liverpool. You got Liverpool who signed Nunes for 100 mil. You mm-hmm. got uh, Chelsea who who who, just who have nobody, about, <laughs> nobody so I mean, far. No, you guys, you guys about you guys are on the verge of signing you know, um, some Sterling, back. yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, Sterling as well. Nat uh, Nat Nat Nakin Ake. Mm-hmm. Um, and you guys got a good squad depth. You got Arsenal who are doing quite good business as well. Vieira, Jesus. So it's going to be an interesting, interesting um, Premier League. Uh, so uh, I have a question for you. Can yeah. you give me your top six? Sure. All right. So my top six is as follows. I think mm-hmm. City are going to win the league. Okay. Um, Liverpool are going to come second. Okay. Chelsea are going to come third. Really? Tottenham, yeah, Tottenham are going to come fourth. Uh-huh. United are going to come fifth, and uh, Arsenal are going to come sixth. <laughs> All right, no. Gunners, you heard here. You heard here first, but bro, I'm I'm afraid okay. we're not going to make it uh, top four. But yeah, it's nice to hear. Just giving me some hope here, but that uh, yeah. that that's probably the hope that kills you, right? Uh, yeah, no. Listen, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll be honest. A lot of a lot of Spurs fans because I do a lot of the live streams on my channel. Um, okay. I got a lot of 
a lot of people come onto my channel and say they're top four or they're top uh, six or whatever. And a lot of them said, you know, Tottenham are going to come third. And I'm like, mate, Tottenham ain't going to come third. I don't know where you're living. Like, well, we, me, we me, I see Tottenham yeah. causing a big upset. Yeah. Causing a big upset uh, 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 and winning the league. How about ooh, that? Ooh. Yeah. Winning the league. Yeah, Conte, man. You don't know what Conte... I, I, I watched Conte two years at Chelsea yeah. Football Club. And the way his recruitment is going there, it's scary. That brother is going to do some damage. The only issue wow. is he doesn't do good in Europe. Yes, that's very So uh, he needs to improve his, uh, you know, his record in Europe. But listen, we have to pray that Spurs got unless until maybe quarter final of uh, the champions league they go far if they got eliminated yeah. by the first round or the pools and then they're gonna That'd win the premier league no they're gonna win really? the premier league i'm telling you if conte is eliminated really? from european competitions and he need to focus yeah. one game a week in the Premier League, game over. He did it with Chelsea. You know that year wow. we were we were nowhere. We were not in Europe, Europa League or Champions League. One game to prepare yeah. every single uh, week. I'm telling you, the league is going to be won by Tottenham Hotspurs. So we have to pray that you guys can qualify until. I don't know, quarter final or whatever, semi finals of, of the Champions League because you have more games to prepare. But if you, you yeah. are out of the competition earlier, he's going to focus on the Premier League and he's going to win it. That's the way it is. That is Antonio Conte. <clears throat> right. Yeah. So, so you, you're, saying, you're saying you can win the league next season? You can win it. Yeah, you have a chance. You have a sh Yeah, uh, because you have the, everything. You have everything to win it, like everything. Uh, the only yeah. issue you can have is a lot of games in Europe. And that's why yeah. I'm afraid that if you if you get out the Champions League earlier, you're going to focus on the league and you can do damage. And mm -hmm. that is going to be, oh my goodness, the celebration from you guys. Look at your cabinet, empty for like, oh like 10 really years. <laughs> 10 years. Your cabinet being more, more, mate. Why are you living with more, more than three? more than that? About 14, <laughs> 14 years, mate. 14 years. So probably you never saw any trophy because you were a baby when you won. Yeah, probably I mean, you were I mean, not I mean, even I born. <laughs> no, it's true. I haven't seen Tottenham. Actually, I have. I, I watched Tottenham lift a trophy, mate. I saw Tottenham lift the Audi Cup. Man, 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 man. You have you have I, to I ask your parents serious cup, ask your parents serious question. Why they put you into a situation like this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean listen, it wasn't me. If I could choose a team, I would choose Man City or Liverpool. Easy, yeah, easy. kids, you know you have to give them freedom. So it's a yeah. family thing, mostly it's a family thing. And when your family support a team, you support them. But they put you through a lot, bro. They put you Listen, through yeah. a lot. I know. I know oh they do. my I like goodness, me. Goodness. <laughs> it's true. Okay. So, people, any breaking news on social media? Let us know. Let me double check. Yeah, well, we'll react to it. Uh, Nothing? What? Raheem Pardon? Sterling is not announced yet. Why? What the problem, people? I mean, I, I just heard something from Fabrizio. He said, um, when did he say? He said it nine minutes ago. Oh, no. When did he say this about uh, Ryan Sterling? He said, um, "Wait, let's see. I'm just trying to flick through my Twitter." Okay. Um, I, I just saw Fabrizio. Yeah, he oh, sorry, he talked Ryan about uh, like uh, Arturo Vidal. He didn't. Uh, really, Arturo Vidal, yeah. Yeah, not nothing about Chelsea today, but he said everything was done. It's, it's that is now nothing, yeah. man. There's nothing. Ben Jacob. So now Bayern Bar Munich are now going for um, what's his name? For the lead, um, Matisse the lead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see who else? Um, yeah. Oh, Ten Hag confirmed that uh, Cristiano Ronaldo will not be in uh, uh, for sale. Hmm. Yeah. It's uh, it's sad, man. 
Are you are you watching? <laughs> you, do you do you watch uh, women games too? Women games. I mean, yes, yeah, sometimes, sometimes, yeah. But I haven't actually watched. Um, Euros. You know, this time they are playing Euros. Yeah. Huh? Who do you support? Uh, nobody. The the US, the nobody. USA, and France. Because I. USA and France. Yeah, USA and France as always. Those are like my yeah. countries, so who I. Who in, 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 in Who do you support? In what? How 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 do you like who, who do you support normally in 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 in, in like nationalities? In national team uh, again, France and the USA. So I'm I'm divided always. Yeah. France and the USA, France and USA everywhere. Or when teams play. So, Everywhere yeah. that uh, Chelsea players are playing, I tend to support that team, you know, like yeah. England playing against some teams and you have Rhys James and you have uh, Fikayo Tomori and Manson Mount. You kind of support yeah. your boys, right? So and yes. I have, uh, yeah, that that that's what I do. So. Look, I mean, England, England all the way. I hope, hopefully England can win the World Cup or something. <laughs> You never know. You never uh, know. Like you're talking no. about the men team, England men team. Yeah. Looks like they don't have a good manager though. They have everything. They have talent yeah, there, but you know it's uh, uh, the guy looks very very weak. You know, Southgate. Yeah, Southgate. Southgate. Yeah. He looks weak. He doesn't look like uh, ha, a good manager. Look, I'll be honest with you. I think I think Southgate is, is a type of manager who it's time to go. Um, you want him to go? So, yeah, I, th I think it's taking his time for him to go. But he doesn't deserve the respect that he, he, he should get because you know he he's really helped England um, get this far. I mean, he, he no, no other manager except for the 1966 manager that mm -hmm. was the best manager apart from uh, apart from you know um, what's the name um, Dad Southgate. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So, yeah. I agree. I think they need a. Who should be the next manager for England, anyways? You think like uh, Pora, like uh, what's his first name again? Yeah. Potter, yeah. Uh, Potter from from Brighton. He's good. He's Brighton, English, yeah. right? He's English, yeah, he's right? English. Yeah. Okay. He's English as well. Look, it'll be it'll be interesting to see who Tottenham will, uh, who England will get after Gareth Southgate. Um, it, it could it could be good. It could be could be a good thing. Big Sam back again. Big Sam, Sam Alada. <laughs> Who? Big Sam. You know? Who's Big Sam? Sam is uh, Sam Alada. You don't know him? The guy that you used to, to, to coach. Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He coached Everton and. Everton. And, and many, 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 many teams. Many, many teams. Even, even West Ham. All over, you know, Sunderland, everywhere. He's been everywhere. Yeah. Big Sam. So. Big, big, big. Listen, um, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to go. So it's great. Okay, can realize. you can you put your your channel's okay. name in the co in the in the comment it's section so chat. I can even add you the you know moderator yeah, yeah. also in the channel so next time when you have time my friend just jump into it i'm yeah. on social media too you can contact me there when you have a show and you want me to be there i can i can be there yeah this is family bro this is football family here yeah i'm also instagram let me get your instagram uh i, I am mostly on uh, twitter instagram is the same green turf you see the name of the yeah. channel that i gave you before and look if you yeah, look yeah, on if you look on uh, on Twitter right now, you will see my page. If you look on YouTube on the screen, yeah, the green green turf, you will see oh. that green turf too. Is that on? Yeah, Instagram? green turf too. That's right. Okay, I, I dropped your follow. I said, hey. Yes. All right. Cool. Um, so, uh, if anyone wants to go and join our um, YouTube channel, they're more than welcome. We do live streams. Um, and uh, we're almost on 500, we're almost on 600 um, for, uh, subscribers. So, yeah, yeah. Need a ton for us. We'll you got me, bro. You got me and my family. Everybody is going to subscribe to your channel today. So, you might have a few more more fans you. on your channel tonight because we're going to all subscribe, man. Thank you so much. And it's so kind. Thank you. Thank you for helping the channel, my brother. 
Thanks right. for helping me with my camera. No, Appreciate no problem, it. man. No problem. This is family. Love and peace to the family. Josh is gone. Thank you so much. There's another guy here, Mr. Yahoo. Yahoo. Yeah, boss. Yes, sir. What do you have to say? I beg. I want to say that uh, Tomboli with Thomas Tuko to get us uh, Kulibali. Uh, you want uh, Todd Bolly to go? Yes. Okay, uh, so Todd Bolly out. Okay, all right. So, uh, why can you tell us why you want him out? No, I want to from Bolly to get us to Bali. Oh, 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 I see, I see. You don't want him out, you want him to spend money and sign Kulibali. Yes. Bro, you have a lot yes. of echoes. You have a lot of echoes. It's really annoying, but I got your message. I'm gonna put you off, and then when you when you are in a very quiet uh, place, you can come back again, because it's not okay. it's not good for the show. But you can come back anytime. Thank you so much for calling, people. I'm still. Uh, I'll be here for probably. 10 to 15 more minutes so if you if you want to jump in and say hi to me feel free to do so this is your time <laughs> this is your time all right so tonight so for people who are watching from uh, the u.s I will be there in in North North Carolina, Charlotte, very soon for Chelsea game, and then I will be in Orlando, Florida, for the last game against Arsenal. So if you wanna join us over there and uh, have a drink and uh, make some shows, feel free to do so. And uh, what else we have? Let me just uh, jump and see if we have some other breaking news in the community before I leave. Ben Jacob, nothing. Let me go to Simon. Simon Phillips, it's any any breaking news? Nothing. Let go. <clears throat> so nothing really special uh i think lewandowski is still there if uh, barcelona don't sign him we're gonna we're gonna take him another leftover chelsea and psg yeah are prepared to to fight for lewandowski but listen i don't see lewandowski going to psg because messi mbappe neymar egos no, he's not going to be the number one over there. So he better come to Chelsea Football Club. Thomas Tuchel and Chelsea would jump to the chance of signing Lewandowski. So it's the same old, same old news, man. Nothing new here. Let me not waste your time, okay? Uh, Raheem Sterling, nothing. Let me see if there is any news about Raheem. Raheem Sterling of old people. Boom, bada boom, bada boom. Nothing, nothing new here, my friend. <clears throat> they are just putting his statistics and goals that he scored over the years. Blah, 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 blah. No announcement, no nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's about it, people. So I'm going to just read a few more comments before I leave. And I'll see you tonight if Raheem Sterling is announced or probably tomorrow, another day. For that, Josh. <laughs> Vasia, Tino Andren, I'm ready. 20 years old Chelsea youngster goes to Tuko and tells him he wants to play for, for the first team. Okay. 
Mr. Samuel, Samuel says Scott Parker. Yeah, Scott Parker is also good for the England job. Yeah, I agree. Scott Parker is good. He's a good manager. Uh, Thomas Tuko is said to be lukewarm to be to the idea of uh, signing Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay. Wow, nice, nice, nice. What? What is nice? That was a very old comment. Uh, Chelsea playing tonight. No, we're not playing tonight. We're playing Saturday in Vegas, baby. Come join us. I think my friend, um, my friend Jeremy actually is going to be in Vegas because it's too, it's way, I, I can't fly. I have to drive. It's going to take me hours and hours and hours and hours. So I'm not going to be there, but Josh will be there in Vegas. I will only be in Charlotte, North Carolina. And Orlando, Florida. And Arsenal, Gunners, I'm coming for you. Get ready. Anyways, people. I think I'm done because I don't get more comments. Nobody is commenting. <laughs> and nobody is calling. So I think people are tired, sick and tired of me. Okay, it was a hell of a show. Josh was, was here to help. Herbert also came through. And we had other callers that I forgot the name. So, apologies. Uh, stay tuned. Stay positive. Because Chelsea are going to, to sign some players. Okay? We don't have to rush and buy a bunch of dead wood. And uh, <laughs> and regret. You don't, you don't want to go there and spend... Uh, you look at this guy look at this guy look at the time that he's coming so blue ice is in the house and we're gonna have to give him time you know so i'm still here stuck because of this guy because he's having his holy water absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. ice my brother talk to me my brother i greet you i greet you and i thank you for 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 waiting a little bit before you yeah leave. yeah i have to wait you know i see if you don't you don't wait you're gonna be in big trouble you pay tax you, you pay better tax. wait <laughs> he's the uh, he's the man? king of the village whatever <laughs> you'll be in trouble <laughs> how you doing man yeah i'm i'm doing good i'm still waiting for the announcement what's happened bro I, like you know Rahim. This is the first, this is the, i know <laughs> Rah! no this is the first time. <laughs> that's my guy that's my guy, man. Uh, <laughs> this is the first time I'm actually being anxious with the process. You trust the um, process? Of course. No, this is already. This is. This, this is <laughs> what happened this to Rafinha? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this deal crossed the line a long time ago. I, I wasn't. I wasn't excited for Rafinha. Okay. <laughs> I suspect. I suspect, which I don't expect, but I suspect that mm -hmm. Nathan Ake might be rolled into the deal. Okay. And that's why there's maybe one or two more T's that need to be crossed and uh, I's that need to be dotted, you know? Mm hmm But all in all, um, Raheem, I think he's even joining the team in the US, right? That's what I heard. But we don't see the official picture so far, bro. Trust me, I'm, I'm just as excited. I'm like, I, I announce this thing now. Kai! <laughs> like, oh, yeah, this thing, I'll move on please please next so that we mm -hmm. can work on other deals yeah you know but um i'm excited uh Augs, i'm really excited about this potential here man. but it's only one though we need more of course but this is this is a good one i think so but what system do you think he he, he will adapt are you are you gonna just continue your you need to you need to adapt you need to show us go f find your it's food true. it's true it's true <laughs> Ox, you're paying attention my brother you're paying attention <laughs> oh, yeah. it's true no you're right you're absolutely right is he has to adapt you need to adapt okay yeah because trust me playing for playing in our system right Ox, is mm. actually him playing outside of his comfort zone so why should you always play mm -hmm. out of your comfort zone when you can cook? You can destroy team oh, no, no, no. and you're going to suffer trying to, to adapt. Exactly. What is that? Just, le just let him cook. Give him freedom. 
what 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 what's wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that but the difference here is that a star will always shine no matter the no matter the system okay just if they, even if they they play him as a fullback he need to adapt listen i actually i i was i had that discussion the other day if you play if for some reason let's say push comes to shove mm. and we don't have any substitutes and we need someone somebody to double as a wing back mm. raheem sterling can do that job perfectly <laughs> okay perfectly <laughs> You know why? You know. You, you know, know why? Why? That? Tell it, me why. It, it is because he knows how to drive at players. Okay. He can actually beat you man to man. He can. He can face you and beat you. He doesn't need to cut into the field or cut out. He just, he can. He can basically face you head on, beat okay. you and accelerate. And we need that. We need that profile. Huge, huge, huge profile. Again, remains to be seen. Mm-hmm. But um. He's going to be I think he's going to be one of the most successful signings. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I, I, I really hope, hope so, so because I'm tired of uh, people I'm tired of flops at Chelsea Football Club. I don't call them flop because I, I the way I see it is that they're not given a chance to cook. Yeah. <laughs> because of, because no, of the no. system. No, it's it's not because of, see and oh, this is the reason why I love my club. Mm. See? You see the the statement you just made. You said because they're not giving the what they're not giving the time to cook, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, and that is why that is why Chelsea is different. You know why? Why is that the little time you're given? <laughs> <laughs> this guy, <laughs> are you paying attention? Also? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening to you. The little time you're given is your audition. Is your basically complete audition. If you don't if you don't shine in that little time you're given, sorry boy. There's a lot of people in line, man. Hmm. So again, it depends on what you define as time. Mm-hmm. How much time is time? Okay. Season, are you a small two... club or are you a big <laughs> club? <laughs> Yo, it's a good question, Ob. <laughs> it applies, you're right. It applies. Okay. Do you wait for one season? Do you wait for two seasons? Do you wait for six months? Do you wait for two months? Hmm. What is the protocol? <laughs> the protocol. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. But again, um, yeah. So I'm really excited, man. I'm really excited. If this deal happens, I hope it happens. Though. You hope like it's not. Uh... It's not gonna be the. I don't want to hear speak. Raf- Anyways, I've I've prepared myself for that as well too. But the Rafinha story. I don't want to hear that story again. Let's get it yeah. done and over with, man. No, but Sky, ESPN, everybody has confirmed. Yeah, you know? but still, yeah. we are waiting for official confirmation. You see, you see, maybe are you sure Marina is part of this process? Uh, she's in the background helping. Okay. But if She's, she was if yeah. she was on front, she probably would have announced a long time ago, eh? Uh not sure because we always sign the last minute. Uh <laughs> like uh, the deadline day and you got the uh, NFC Gilo Boji and people mm. like that after penny pinching and mm. and uh, Raheem Sterling signed for another club and stuff like that. Mm. But yeah, I got your point. You're trying to defend your queen. But remember how many <laughs> how many of them we sign on time. It's always daily, uh, you know, penny pinching and playing games, and then we lose playing the first. Games. You know, playing what games? What are you talking about? Games? Yeah, like uh, try to to get the uh-huh. deal and to save are, some are you, money. Are you saying playing games, or are you saying negotiating, which is part of the job? Yeah, but the negotiation, you always also talk about uh, executive decisions. You have to learn how to walk from a deal. Executive decision. You forgot your own <laughs> principles. <laughs> you forget your own principles, brother. Sometimes draw the line. Say, you know what? We give you 10 days. After this, we don't have to wait anymore. Executive decision. Put the money on the table. Boom. Deal. No deal. Shake hands. Move on. 
you came up with the principle of executive decision and you are telling me oh negotiation because it's your queen because it's your your girl that that's what i'm talking about here bias uh, i see <laughs> no 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 there's a difference between <clears throat> okay executive decision is normally taken at the management executive level you understand but she was in that position too because she represented the boss she got the last decision she got the money mm. she decide mm. she was eyes and ears mm. of abramovich mm. you see mm. so she was mm. she was everything mm. i hear you i hear you i hear you so you need to say you. you know what listen you. it's not working Kepar, uh, what uh, courtois we can't find a solution boom i'm going i'm getting alison becker pay the money 58 million get the player that's it we can't wait anymore we have things to do and don't wait and wait and well maybe it's gonna work or maybe i'm not sure i'm sure okay let I'm me not... ask you a question yes mm -hmm. yeah, alison becker or edward mendy who do you think has yielded that was before that was before Hold mendy on. i'm just let talking me ask my yeah. question now yes my... sir <laughs> go on go on i'm listening alison becker Mm -hmm. versus edward mendy who do you think has yielded more of a return on investment for their team well i think uh, both of them deserve respect because if you look at uh, the background you know, of Mendy, from a business standpoint from a business standpoint <clears throat> i'm not talking about their i'm not talking about their personal accomplishments i'm talking about from a business standpoint so on the part of the team the team itself, but the problem the Marina, is the problem mm -hmm. is we got yes. mendy a good deal but because we made a bad deal before we just spent we overpaid for kepa risa balaga 75 million instead of paying 58 million for alison bakers who was waiting for us that could save us a lot of money because we said we paid 28 million on mendy plus the money that we paid on Kepa Arisa Balaga, it's, it's getting closer to 100 million for just the goalkeeping position. So if we spend half of that price to get one that we needed, he was there. He made even an interview talking about how he likes Chelsea and all that. And all of a sudden, you penny pinch, you wait, 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 and Liverpool were like, you know what? How much you ask for? 58, boom, paid. And the last minute, we panicked by Kepa Arisa Balaga. So you find yourself in a, in a position where you have two very expensive signings here. You see what I mean? So overall, in the business point of view, very, very bad one. We were never going to discover Mendy today because we were going to have a, a number one already. Okay. What about from uh, return on investment on the field? On the field... Yeah, yeah, you can considering they, considering, considering yeah. first day first day on the job till date. Okay, on the field, Mendy, you have to give it to him because he won the Champions League, the World Cup, the Super League, and uh, what else? And we reached like three finals. That is a very Don't good. Forget Afcon. Afcon. Don't forget Afcon. Yeah, Afcon. We're talking about Chelsea here. Return on investment. Senegal didn't oh, yeah, pay any right. money. Yeah, that's right. Senegal that's didn't sorry. pay any money. You're right. Sorry, so sorry. Um, yeah. that is a very good return for a goalkeeper. But Alisson also, they won the Champions League. They made another final. They won the World Cup. They won all the trophies that we won plus more. They beat us in all three finals that we faced them. So that tells you that he's yeah, he's a little bit up there. Let's be honest. His distribution is on point. Better than Mendy. Sh shot stopping. Yeah, you can argue with that. But that brother, how many passes? Like one pass. Boom. To Raheem Sterling. What the name you call him again? Uh, Rao. Rao. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, right? Imagine with the speed of Raheem Sterling and um, Alison Becker, one one ball break all the lines, bam, and raw is at the end of it. Think about it. And that brother, guess what? He even scored a goal the last minute, ninety fourth minute. The brother header, boom, he won three points. Mm -hmm. 
true, true. Three point for Liverpool. So I'm telling you, listen, I like uh, I like Mendy. Mendy is my boy, but we have to be honest here and say like Alisson is winning in every aspect here. Becker. <laughs> Rao, look at his passes, man. That guy. You are, you are Pin. absolutely spot on. No, you're, you're spot Pin on. Pinpoint to oh, Rao. Come, come. I'm, right. telling I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Rao. you. Let's get him on this. Let's get him on this team. And I don't know who the I don't know who the second option will be up front. Uh, how about uh, your your boy that you you turn even against your boy last season? You called him average. Kai Havert, you called average. him average. Twenty-two yes. years old. Yes. You calling a kid in the in term of football? You calling yeah. him average? Yeah. Wow. Wow. I was exactly. surprised. To be honest, I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised. I was surprised about you know, your, you know, your word. You, you, you I was know, surprised how you can give up on on your boy just like that. Oh, no, listen. There's a difference between mm -hmm. when somebody calls you average mm -hmm. at the dinner table. On on Sunday afternoon, at the lunch table <laughs> on Sunday afternoon, it's different from when somebody calls you average on the streets. Okay, I don't know if you understand what <laughs> yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah, it's called tough love. Tough love, <laughs> especially for the young ones, especially for these young ones. <laughs> oh, um, I was watching um I was watching an interview with um Gary. I'm a I'm a basketball fan, as you know. Yeah, an, an you are a Miami guy, guy right? Absolutely. Hit. Yeah, yeah. So I was watching Gary Gary Payton Jr. Mm -hmm. the second. Mm -hmm. His interview, he just won with Golden State. And okay, what he said? I don't know if you do you know Gary Payton? Yeah, yeah. The legend. Yeah, I know him. That's his. So this is his son. So it was an interview mm -hmm. with him and his son. Okay, so, so what they, what they, they talk, say? So, I didn't watch so, it. Okay, so the question was something in regards to how he feels about winning a title in front of his dad or something like that and mm. he says <laughs> the first thing that changed his life was when his dad told him he was a shitty player okay so the critics made him strong well that's what you mean but today's yes. generation listen bro today's generation you have to be careful because you can even break them more they don't have the same mentality that we had because no, we played but, outside today they play inside their rooms absolutely but so the difference you, is the, the way you say it and how you say it mm. the person you're saying it to will know you're absolutely right though um Ox, you're up you're spot on in regards to what you were saying but i'm saying when when I, when i'm making statement statements like this you know mm. is when it was said and how it was said because highly applicable because in most in most cases most kids will take that and embrace it yeah but you have to know who that's the problem you have to know who because I guess, I guess. you can look at Deli ali right Moreno yeah. came up with his, his tough love he used the tough love with you frank lampard you john terry and no, but this it, is father and, father and son i'm yeah. talking about father and son mm -hmm. i'm not talking about coach and player i'm talking about father and son yeah i understand that i understand yeah. that but listen i have a question the last one before i leave because i've been here for a while thank you Hit for me. helping and stopping by the way Hit and me, uh, i will be back if uh, raheem sterling is announced i don't care what time if we have a here we go i don't have a time to edit a video for two hours i'm gonna just go live and talk to people when <laughs> is announced if it's <laughs> if it's official so still yeah. hanging there i might have another live so i need to go and no do problem. something else but the yeah, question man. i wanted to ask which one yeah. mm, let me think it's kind of disappear i had it in my head here is it a footballing question or yeah it's just football question uh, come on in private we can talk in private okay. so this is yeah. that is a football uh i think uh Go and get me Alex and Maximon. I don't know what you guys yeah, are wishing. Alex and time. Maximon. Go and get me Alex and Maximon. Get me Declan Rice. Let me just relax. Please. So yeah. since we failed on Rafinha, who do you... Yeah, Alex you already answer. You already answer about Alex Sam Maximon. I don't ask for too much. Uh, Sam Maximon is a... I'm very humble. I'm a very... I just humble... He's request. a right fit. He, he's a right footed, right? It doesn't matter where you put Alex and Maximon. Okay. He can play ball. He's a baller. 
So do you think this is realistic? What? Getting him, do you think is realistic? Think based, realistic. based on the money that uh, you know you Newcastle have and how he's the main man there, you know he's the boss there, and coming well, to Chelsea well, where he's gonna honest. be just a regular guy, and uh, uh, taking a team, taking a team like Newcastle to the next mm. level is gonna be more valuable that than coming and win something with Chelsea because it's Chelsea already. You are just a guy, but over there. If they want, if they win something, he's gonna be like, "Oh, we did it!" You know, after I don't know, fifty years or something. Do you do see the project over there? I think it's more attractive to him than Chelsea. What do you think about that? I see it. That is the way I see it. Hey Amen. If that's his, if that's his trajectory, I mean, people set their own trajectories and follow and execute. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you can, you don't want to be in the way of anyone's planned uh, yeah. move. However, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> there's also people like, what's his name? Who was almost in the same boat? Richarlison. Okay, Richarlison. Yeah, mm -hmm. Richarlison would have been able to, if Frank Lampard succeeds this year, Richarlison would be one of the legends that pulled Everton out of the... Out of the know, mud, yeah. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So that in 10, 15 years... When kids are talking about Everton, they'll remember Richarlison. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, and this exact, but Richarlison, what did he do? He left. He went for, ex he went for exactly what you said. That could happen to Alex and Maximo if he comes to Chelsea. But Richarlison said, you know what? I'll take my chances. I need okay. to play Champions League. Okay. So, so, so that might be a proposition for Alex and Maximo as well. Because. If you trust me, if you want to be, a, he's already a Newcastle legend. But if mm -hmm. he wants to retire in Newcastle, I respect that. Come on, I've seen legends that came out of New, Newcastle. <laughs> Alan Sheeran. Yeah, yes. Sheeran. So the... Thank you. you got, bro. So, All right. I mean, yeah. yeah. Go on. No, that's it. That's it for me. So, people, Brian, uh, get well soon. He's not feeling well. And Brian is from Zambia. Chelsea fan, big up you are very late because we are closing the the shop already uh we have customer inside but we already closed the doors you know how it goes when you go to a shop and then it's eight o'clock and then they close the door nobody comes in only people going out <laughs> that 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 is the situation you find us here so maybe next time pray pray that we get raw raheem sterling tonight <laughs> we're gonna get him we're gonna get him <laughs> ladies and gentlemen calm down he's coming and then it's we're going to come back here and celebrate because yes. that we haven't signed anybody so far, officially. We need, we need to get him across the line. I'm so anxious. So tonight or tomorrow, I don't know when, but they should really... What time is it? <coughs> it is. They it's should cool. really announce somebody. And uh, for people, again, I'm going to remind you, if you are in, the, in North Carolina, Charlotte... You're going to go to games and, and the training sessions. You can you can get in touch with me so we can have a drink. Or if you don't like me, and then we're going to have some face-to-face, -face, okay? We we solve it as men at the back of the gym, okay? Instead of attacking me online, we're going to see each other face-to-face. -face. That's how men solve their problems. No police involved. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... Let me easy, see. easy, 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 guys. Easy. easy. Take it to the field. Take it to the midfield and play football. Challenge each other to <laughs> a game of football. Come, come, yeah. come. Let 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 have a word. You know, at the you back know, of the, the gym. Or, no, in the field, man. Just play so, football, man. <laughs> as you can tell here, the boys are very happy here in LA. The training session is doing great. Thomas Tuko and his boy are having good time. So, Saturday, July 16, we are in Vegas, baby. Vegas first game against Club America. And then, Wednesday, July 20th, we are in Charlotte, North Carolina, against Charlotte FC. Bank of America Stadium, alright? And then, Saturday, July the 23rd, 
only three days after that, we're going to have to meet Arsenal. That is going to be Orlando, Florida Camping World Stadium. Beautiful, beautiful place. I've been there before. So, it's going to be okay. My prediction for three games, I think we're going to draw the first one. The one that I am more worried is the first mm. game, Club America, because, because they are in the middle of the, the league. They are doing great. And then we are just coming back from vacations. Some people mm. still have some barbecues on them, uh, <laughs> extra, <laughs> extra bags and all the junk still there so we're gonna be really tired and and then then just say i don't know if anybody is gonna handle 30 minutes so i'm afraid we might draw this game arsenal, the arsenal on the 20. but arsenal we're gonna be fit because you beat arsenal regardless of it's it's a mm. preseason game friendly or whatever you beat them that's what we do so we're gonna beat arsenal we beat charlotte fc and then we drew against Club America. Yeah. That's about it. Let me see if Chelsea have any latest Chelsea Football Club. Chelsea Football Club. Chelsea Football Club. Let's see. No, same old, same old. They are just showing update. some. No update, eh? No this update. Is ridiculous, man. Come on, guys. It's just uh, nothing. Hi. Come on, guys. Give and you know what? Something. You know what Start could happen now. when I get off here, and then like ten minutes after that, and then they, they announce something. You know how how ridiculous. I that know. Is it's always be. like that. It's always <laughs> like that. So probably I have to get off. Just yeah. to open the door. <laughs> yeah. I'm the problem here. I could be the problem. So, Ice, thank you, yes. brother, for helping. Well, yes, yes. yes and uh, we'll let's do, do it again, again when you have time. Absolutely. When you finish All work right, and you are having your popcorn and and breakfast of champions is on weekend, Never. not now. So. <laughs> exactly. No, no, no. Please, don't encourage that. Only for the strong-minded. Oh, for the strong-minded. <laughs> All right, man. Man, later, man. Later, bro. Thank you so much. So, Isaac's gone. I'm gone too. I have to go. Let me see here, Mr. Fidel Mirindi. I was uh, I was late. Later, always. I'm happy to hear. Oh, you you don't have to apologize to anybody, bro. We got jobs. We get family. We got school we got so much to do in life not only be on youtube so i completely understand that chelsea fan uh what a tottenham josh tottenham fans channel i'm gonna have to find out because he's gonna he's gonna email me tonight so i even forget yeah i'm gonna uh, yeah it's too much to think about but i will i will remind myself at some point uh even Marquinhos is good choice in centre back. Marquinhos from PSG. But do you think PSG are gonna sell their captain to Chelsea Football Club? It's not gonna happen. Uh somebody say damn bro. So when is the announcement? I don't know. The announcement is not there. Alright, Mr. Barton. Thank you so much. Todd Josh. I will see you next time, people. Take care. Yeah. I know brain. Marvin Divine. Uh, I'm saying bye to all the lies and all the times you cried Saying that I was a right, that I was right by your side You manipulator, playing games, your friends commentators And I don't know what you say about our private conversations But it's got them hating, thanks to all the rumors you be claiming It's cool, I'm done with you, so they can throw you a celebration You gon' hate it when you see me with somebody living better I'm trying to tell you that me just doing me gon' have you jealous, uh
my life is lovely, now I'm focused on me You said you were about to die, I guess the car is on E But see, I ain't even tripping, cause I just chose to believe That somebody gon' come around and give me just what I need I don't wanna see you finally see you looking down and out Coming to me crying, saying you miss having me around Gave you chances and you blew it, you so easily influenced All the times you told me beat it, now you gotta 